PDF Toolbox CLI offers the same functionality as PDF Toolbox Desktop, but in a way that can rapidly and easily be integrated into a web portal or automation system. This command line version of PDF Toolbox is well documented, extremely reliable and very quick. So let's take a look at how you can get started with it. How you install and activate PDF Toolbox CLI differs from platform to platform, and you can find more information about this aspect on the Kalas documentation site at help.kalasoftware.com. I'm using a Mac here, and the first thing I can do is simply running the CLI application without any arguments. And I'm going to use iTerm2 for this, but you can use any tool that allows you to run command line commands. So let's run the PDF Toolbox CLI application. And PDF Toolbox CLI answers with the basic command line instructions. I have not given any parameters, so the only thing PDF Toolbox can do is tell me what I'm expected to do. And as you can see, there are about a gazillion different command line parameters that I can use. But the important part is that at the end of the command line, I'm expected to have a profile and then one or more input files. So if we want to do this properly, I could use this profile that I have exported from PDF Toolbox desktop and then a PDF document. This satisfies what you see here above. I have not specified any command line parameter. I simply have a profile and a PDF file. And when I run that, PDF Toolbox will already give me some results. Of course, we didn't have much control in this way over what actually happened. If we would modify the document, then the resulting document would be created next to my input file and it would receive a suffix. I did not create any report. There are many things I would like to change about this. And to find out what I can do, I could go read the documentation or I can use the help command of PDF Toolbox. To use the help command, I again run the application, but now I am following that with dash dash help. And when I run that, PDF Toolbox spits out a long help information screen. So this is where I have the help, I have the basic command line, and then I have lots of information about the different parameters that I can use. And as you can see, the list is substantial. Let me show you one and I'm going to go back to my command line call with the profile and the PDF document. And at the end of that, I'm going to say dash dash report and then equals XML always. And when I run this again, you'll see that this time PDF toolbox output an XML report. And this XML report contains lots of information about the document that was just pre-flighted and lots of information about what happened during pre-flight. Basically, all of this error information that was output to standard out is also output to this XML together with much more information. There is a second way you can use the command line though, and it's very important that we also touch on this. To explain that, I need to run the help command again. And instead of going all the way to the beginning, I am now going to look at the second part in that output. And that is PDF toolbox dash dash command. And where it says command, you can substitute any of the actual commands that you see in the list. What you can see in there are things like imposition commands, converting to and from other file formats, things like split and merge, duplicating pages. So a lot of different tasks that are not typically integrated into a profile 
but that through this command system you can run on the file directly. Again, the documentation side has full details on each of these commands. But if you want to avoid going to the documentation site too quickly, you can also note the name of the command that you're interested in, such as save as image, which saves an image file out of a PDF document. And now I can run the help command, but follow it up by the command that I am interested in, save as image. And when I run this, I get help information that is specific to that particular command. And the command line parameters that I have here and the explanations that I have here are now specific to that particular command. This was a short introduction of using the command line version of PDF Toolbox. As you can see, it's an extremely powerful tool that can be used for much more than just pre-flights. You can find full documentation for the command line by going to help.calasoftware.com and looking for the chapter about PDF Toolbox CLI in the PDF Toolbox manual.